baby! All right, let's pass and go. All right. There's the merge. There's the flare. And so let's be careful about this. I mean, my shields are going to go down right away, so my only real chance against the Aurora here is to A, make sure I don't miss and try to stay as accurate as I can. Yeah, it's tiny, a little, little bugger. Yeah, oh, I'm already red, right? Yeah, losing distance here on this turn. Bad jerk profile. I'm gonna die in this turn for sure. No boosts. Dead. Yeah, Ooh, you're out, out energy. Yeah, there's no there's no chance. Dude. No chance. No chance for that thing. <laughs> not no even chance. not even a little bit. Against a trained pilot, yeah. like there's no fucking way, dude. Survive against the greatest rookie ship of all time. Answer is probably no. Wow, I'm getting smoked. <laughs> uh, uh, turn! Maybe I can get the shields down. Answer no. Answer is a definitely probably not. It's a yep. Oh, and the shields are back up. <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't even have a chance, man. <laughs> like, it doesn't even have a chance. What are you doing to my ship? <laughs> it's so hard to track, too. Like, <laughs> oh, not a fucking chance. We all died. Not a chance. Not, a, not, a chance. <laughs> not, a not fucking even chance. Not even a little bit. <laughs> and, uh... Expedition, right? So the only saving grace I have is I am like four times your hit points. So if I can somehow If I can somehow get close There we go. Oh, we got you here. Oh, I got a chance Come on, oh, Stray! Fuck. He doesn't have a lot of life. Oh shit, it has way less life than I thought. <laughs> uh, oh god, you can shoot my butt. <laughs> oh wow, he's fully red. You can't get away from me, bitch. <laughs> well, That's really squishy though, isn't it? Come on, so squishy. Squishy. I didn't realize it was you. So yeah. I just did one wrong pass for Zure in the Pisces and I oh, instantly regretted so it. So many bullets! Come on, Drake so Hunter! Come on, baby! <laughs> Come on, baby! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Come on! Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Good job. Uh, the server pull right at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, we so did it! I didn't know! The Drake Cutter. Special thanks to Avenger 5, Stray Bullets, for helping us out with this testing process. I wanted to give you guys a really accurate representation of what it looks like with the Drake Cutter. Because there was a few fights we had on a few, you know, a few streams before this one. Where we were taking out gladiuses and arrows and all kinds of funny stuff with the Drake Cutter. And I didn't want to give people the false sense of where this ship is currently at. So in order to facilitate the proper testing of the Drake Cutter to see where she truly lines up in the cast, we took one of our Avengers, Stray Bullets, put them in the opposite ships to make sure that we get a very accurate representation of where this ship is currently sitting. The fight you are currently watching now was a friendly little battle we had at OM1 with Mr. GJ, uh, but it goes to show the possibilities of the Drake Cutter, and also, if you're making small mistakes, they start to add up over time, and even the Drake Cutter can have, uh, can have a win against some other ships that maybe it has no business fighting. However, all things equal and all things considered, the Drake Cutter is solidly in E tier. 
set, you know, close to the Pisces, I guess you could say the C8X Pisces uh, is, is quite similar. Out of the cast of rookie ships between the 125A, the Aurora, the Mustang, um, and I even consider the Avenger Titan, the, uh, the Drake Cutter sits solidly at the bottom. Um, with only about 10.5 or 11 G's under a tricord of acceleration. The only thing that the Drake Cutter has going for it is a little bit more health than your average ship. Still not having a lot of health, you know, out of all the rookie ships, it's the toughest. However, the fact that it has only one size one shield and two size two fixed weapons leaves the Drake Cutter woefully behind in the Department of Self-Defense as well as even... A little bit of attack. Now, what I will say about the Drake Cutter that I do really enjoy from a PvP lens, because remember, right, we're looking at this through the PvP lens. If you're going to take a fight in a Drake Cutter versus any kind of combat ship or any kind of civilian ship in general, you know, your first option should be to disengage entirely. What I do like about the Cutter is it's the toughest out of all the rookie ships. So it has the best chance to get away in a pinch. But if you do get caught, especially if you get caught by a Mantis or something else, her top speed's nothing to write home about. And if you do end up getting into the worst case situation where you do end up having to fight for your life, the chance of you getting out on top is slim to none. That being said, the Drake Cutter was a fun little meme ship to have fun with. And from the beginning, CIG said very clearly if you're about to engage in any kind of combat, to be very, very careful. And they would be right. So if you do find yourself in a Drake Cutter and you do end up appreciating the, the joy and the miracle of life and you decide to not wake up in Grim Hex or somewhere else nefarious, please consider leaving the engagement as soon as possible, as soon as you get engaged. The Drake Cutter is a far stretch from being even slightly self-defensible, let alone any kind of credible threat on the battlefield. So that being said, my final, my final, <laughs> not even nail in the coffin, my final consensus on the Drake Cutter is it's a fun little ship. And for being a space taxi, for being a rookie ship, I genuinely hope that CIG gives the Drake Cutter at least one more size one shield. Because for God's sake, she needs it. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the love and support that everybody has shown myself and everyone here at the team. I hope this information was at least viable for you guys and also to confirm what I think we already all knew from the beginning, that the Drake Cutter is best left to its own devices outside of combat. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Check out Predator Mounts if you're interested in getting a mounting system for your joysticks. Use the code AVENGER1 if you would like a discount. And as always, thank you so much. I hope to see you out for stream on the next YouTube video. I was Avenger 1, and I'll see you next time.